Hello to all my friends out there, and so something bad just occurred to me. Uh, remember my discussion how I could have ended up on the street when the owner wanted his apartment back? You know, all these floods, where do you think these uh, people are coming to? Well, they're coming to your city, they're coming to my city, and what are they going to be looking for? Apartments. And there's probably going to be government money for those apartments. And you're probably going to get 60-day uh, notices, some of you. So be prepared for the worst. Uh, I was just talking to some guy. Uh, this was super annoying to me. People that know me thought it was totally and completely um, reasonable. That they gave me a 60-day notice, so that was totally and completely reasonable. However, that move cost me thousands of dollars. So you have to be prepared that people are coming to your city from these flooded areas. And like in San Diego, we've got thousands and thousands of immigrants coming to this city. And a lot of them are teaming up in apartments with God knows how many people in the apartments which I love. I hope they all rent from the people I used to rent from. I would love that. But uh, be prepared for the worst. Be prepared to lose your job, you know, when they feel sorry. You know, uh, when I was living in the last place, you know, I saw the condition of some of the people that uh, moved in, and I thought, wow, I'd feel sorry for them too. I mean, my moral compass isn't far enough off to, uh, like, displace somebody, but... Uh, expect it to happen. Don't think, oh, I, I'm not in the flood area, so I'm fine. Yeah, you're fine right now, but wait until they all start coming to your cities. All I'm saying is just be prepared. One of the most important things you want to do is stockpile food. Okay, these people are going to run to the cities, and what's going to happen? They're going to run straight for the pantries and food food pantries and uh, let's see what are those other things called the food bank which I feel sorry for them if that's all the food they have this is what I would expect so if you are running if you are running to one of these areas run now let's go to the person running in run straight to the welfare office the day you get there the minute you get there and tell them you know so you can get your social services because you're going to need them because the jobs are not plentiful. The more um, populated the city is, the less you would think, oh, more people, more jobs. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe not. So I just wanted to warn you, uh, warn all of you, be prepared for the worst. Be prepared for a 60-day notice. Be prepared for uh, the cost of food and the cost of living. I can already see it. I mean, the gas is so high here, it's ridiculous. And uh, expect, um, you know, uh, the food to go up. And, um, you know, just be ready. And if you're in one of these areas, just get out with your life and worry about what you're going to do after you get there. Everything will be okay, ultimately. Just like me, I'm so much better off here. Uh, it was expensive when I moved, but, you know, it's so much better. I mean, why do you want to pay your rent to somebody like that? that that's dumb. Okay, you guys, God bless you all.